Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you to the Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So, oh yeah, so the last place we left off, oh yeah, it's getting a little steamy, it's getting a little sexy. We're gonna see where this goes. I may have to censor some stuff, but you guys are gonna get a good video. So anyway, everyone, let's jump right into it. Don't forget, and uh, plan to maintain it for the next 20 minutes. Alright, alarm chain, you're up, and oof, here we go. All right, we're jumping right into it. Oh man, I'm excited. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, brace yourself and brace yourself and stay calm. Just get on with it. Okay. His hands shift up to my chest, caressing my pecs. His fingertips stick down on my fur, gentle and steady. It slides down to the curves of my stomach. He moves his hand up again, cupping the middle of my chest. He slides his hand off. What? What? What is this Harry Potter music? What is happening? I thought we were gonna get sexy time, but we're getting the magical sexy world of furry Potter. Where did this come from? Shh. I know, I know, I get what you're feeling. Going into spicy for a start. Well, hot shot, let's keep the heat on going, hmm? Uh. Oh. Oh, what? Is it me or is it getting hot in here? It's just you. Now, for the pièce de résistance. With a sprinkle of brown stuff coming from his fingertips, the cream became glittered with what looks like sparkling toppings. The fuck is this? What it? What is that? The secret ingredient. Here, have a bite. My face scrunches at the bizarreness of the situation. This is so strange. He moves the monstrosity of bread close to my mouth and I take a small bite. <laughs> this music doesn't match the situation. It tasted creamy, fluffy, and grainy? Is this protein powder? Yes. Hmm, doesn't taste as bad as I thought. I'm glad you like it. Well, this is a really nice snack, but isn't there something else you want to do? What do you mean? Well, um, your dick? Yeah, what about it? It's hard. So? I'm hard too! Yeah, and? Sex! We're supposed to have sex! What? Lotus, what on earth are you talking about? You're naked and I'm naked! Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. You think we're both naked and hard means that we should have sex? <laughs> oh my god. Yes! Wow, Ludus, how perverted of you. Disgusting. Disgusting! But... You think I am just some kind of sex toy you can use and throw away? Just because I'm smoking hot, attractive, and have a big dick doesn't mean I don't have feelings, Ludus. How many men like me have you already done this with? Uh... If it doesn't include the men in virtual novels I read, I'm safe, right? Well, too bad. I'm straight, and you're never gonna have this dick, you slut. <laughs> what the fuck is this situation? It's so weird. Oh my god, you're both naked in bed with throbbing hard-ons, and he's offering you some fucking bread. What the fuck? Oh my god, I love this game. Dumbass thinks he's hot shit. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Door slam. Phil, no, I... I love... My face starts to burn hot and my chest bounces like it is being poked. Uh, was that a dream or... Hmm. Oh, here we go with the music again, guys. I stared at the hand that's... I stared at the hand that's grabbing my dick. Hey... This isn't a dream, is it? He squeezes my dick. Nope. <laughs> what is... <laughs> what is happening in this fucking game? <laughs> I'm so confused! <laughs> Pan sizzling. Sniff, sniff. Smells good. 
Hmm. Where is that kid? Breakfast is getting cold. Knock, knock. Ludus? Rise and shine. I open up the windows for sunlight to come in. Rise and shine, princess. Sex. Dick. Kid? I gently shake his bare chest. Ludus? Don't go, Isla. He grabs my hand and guides it to his crotch. His member is hard as stone as I hold it. Blood rushed to my face in shame and excitement. My heart pounded loud enough that I could hear it whenever I paused my breath. Hmm, not as big as I thought it would be. But still big, nonetheless. Well, I won't let this chance slip by. I start pulling his pants. I start pulling my pants down. What the fuck? <laughs> you do this to yourself, kid. Don't blame me. Uh, good morning, kid. The boy's eyes widen in the sight of me grabbing his hard cock. This isn't a dream, is it? Nope. The boy stares at me as I squeeze his member even more. No, oh, sorry. Come, let's eat breakfast. The food is getting cold. He gave his dick another tug before heading out. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I love it. I stare blankly at my plate, reminiscing Leo's warm, tight squeeze on my member. Dear God, did he really just do that? And why was his pants down? What's wrong? Do you not like the food? No, 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 the carrot soup is pretty tasty. I slurp up some of it. Mmm, see? Ah, that's good to hear. It took me a while to get the flavor just right. Well, have as much as you like. Yeah, right. You seem to have a good dream earlier. Yeah. My eyes widen. I, I guess. It's pretty disappointing, honestly. You have quite the size, too. <laughs> my face starts to heat up. I can't believe he just shrugs that off. He grabbed my penis and he grabbed my penis and talked like it's his casual pastime. Impressive. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you somehow. Let me grab your dick. Wow, did the skies bless me today? I look around the room. It was quiet this morning. Almost too quiet. Where is he? Oh, he's outside somewhere. He said he'd be out for a walk. Huh, he usually wakes me up in the morning. Really? Well, you can catch up to him if you want. He's just around the block. Alright. After finishing up breakfast, I washed the dishes and went to check for any good shirts to wear. I won't take a shower today, though. Taking regular showers... <laughs> Who even does that? I am feeling a bit excited today, though. Man, you must be stanky. No, no, not today. I need to be strong. I clutch my fist. Maybe, maybe when I finally get to touch the real thing, then maybe I'll do it. I'll be going. All right, be careful. I give him a hug. Oh, you never forgot. You never forget your routine hugs. He pushes my face into his belly. Call me if you ever need anything. I will. And he grabs my hand and leads it to his crotch. I gulped. Huh. I came looking for copper, and I found gold. So they slide my hand down to grab it, and he lets me. I gently squeeze it. The bulging mass felt enormous. You sure you're not squeezing his thigh? He lets me handle it for a moment, feeling the smooth tip down to the base. I say true to my word. Now go. He turns me around with his large paws. Take care. I froze and slowly walked towards the door. The morning, air is t the morning air today is cool. The sky bright with blue, painted with long streets of white fluffy clouds. They almost looked like feathers. The birds filled the silence of the street, and I stood there for a moment, listening to their songs. Pretty. Holy shit! My own hands started to tremble. Holy shit, Philia was right! I shaped my hands to remember how big it was. I took a deep breath and engraved my memory into my head. Holy shit! Giddy with excitement. I'm giddy with excitement, simultaneously embarrassed. Today is a wonderful day. Okay, time to find that guy. Hmm, if I was a jobless hunk, where would I be? At the job tree, looking for jobbies. 
Darn it, I should have taken a pick. Ah, maybe next time. Philio! I checked over the narrow walls of people's houses. Phil? Huh. It sure is pretty quiet here. Pretty empty, even. Is everyone on vacation or something? Phil! Darn it, where is he? I've been waiting for ages. Stopping to catch my breath, I end up on the street I barely know. I've been walking for half an hour. Jeez. He didn't even leave me a message. While looking down at while looking around, my eyes catch a figure standing in front of the gate of a big house. Philio? Philio, hey! Oh, sup? Where have you been? I've been going around in... Circles. So, what are you doing here? Nothing much. I'm just standing here admiring this house. Huh. He wipes off sweat from his forehead. God, my stomach is grumbling like crazy. Are you okay? You're all sweaty. I mean, yeah, he's been for a walk. Yeah, I was just doing some laps around the block. Oh. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, I I understand. I walk, I walk seven to ten miles a day. So, um, do you know who lives here? Nope, I don't. I just feel like I'm compelled to come here for some reason. Pretty weird, huh? Like there's some mysterious force wanting me to go here. And it's telling me to send a message or something. Weird, right? Yeah, by the way, what happened to you this morning? You woke up early to go jogging, too. You hardly even do that. I don't know. I'm trying to get some cardio, maybe. So, what kind of message are you trying to send? Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to go in there. And he goes in there. <laughs> he goes inside. What are you doing? I'm checking out the place. Get out of there before somebody catches you. <laughs> All right. I sat on the ground and rested my back on the wall. He follows. <laughs> Silly boys. I've been feeling kind of down lately. Hmm? Why? Not sure. Well, that's informative. Hey, sometimes you can't put it. You can't put feelings into words. But yeah, I just feel burnt out. I don't feel like doing things I usually like to do anymore. Yeah, it's called depression. It happens. Oh, I get that too sometimes. Whenever I want to re-roll my account for a premium ticket event on Gotcha, but it feels super tedious, so I end up not doing it. No! I don't understand that at all! It sure, fit, it sure does feel good to be lazy. You're playing Genshin Impact, aren't you? But I didn't get that rare five-star unit. It was a big mistake. Yeah. What on earth is he talking about? Let's go to the playground. This house seems empty, so let's bail. Alright. Waifu crates. That's what they are! It's waifu crates! <laughs> Random waifu crates. Bold move of him to leave the gate open, though. Race you to the slide? As soon as we arrived, he charged towards the jungle bars and started doing pull-ups. I stared at him, his face huffed with determination with each pull. After doing about 40 pulls, he drops onto the ground. Ha ha ha! Whoa there! Don't push yourself too hard, you might break something. I'm fine, Mom. It just shows that I'm a lot more fit than you. I can do that too, you know. Show me then. I jumped and held onto the bar. It feels warm after the wolf used it. One, two, three. If you get to a hundred, I'll give you a piggyback ride home. Twenty, thirty, forty. Hey, that's cheating. We didn't agree on too any rules. Such so dirty play. Seventy, eighty. 90 and a hundred. I jumped down and took a deep breath. Now, to your back. Fine. He lowers himself and I cling on to him. My arms awkwardly try to figure out where I'm supposed to put them. I didn't want to make things seem awkward. Well, this music. Hang on. I stuck my front onto his back, feeling the intricate, intricate curves of his back muscles. My arms sliding down his pecs, securing myself on his shoulders. Hopefully I don't choke him to death. Not now, at least. Damn, that dream I had left me feeling salty. How many men have I had sex with? What does he think I am? A service dog? It kind of does seem like something he would say. You good? The caucasity! Calling me a slut, eh? If you want me to commit, then fine! I viciously squeeze both of his pecs. Aha! Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! Lies. Dude, what the hell? 
you want to grope me, you could at least ask first. <sighs> Alright, let's just go. He secures me by my thighs and we started walking. Let's go home. I'm beat. Onward, himbo servant. I'm not your servant! <laughs> hey, um... Are you tired? You can drop me here. His arms started to shake. Hmm. <laughs> no, not at all. You're pretty light. Oh. He pulls me up, stopping me from sliding off. He huffed. I know he's tired, but he's walking at such an unusually slow pace. If I were him, I'd go faster. Well, gotta make the most of the moment. I rested my head on his shoulder. <laughs> You've got such soft fur. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so cute. Hey. Yeah? I kind of feel bad. For what? Cheating and squeezing your chest. Nah, it's alright. I consider this as part of my workout. Oh, uh, okay. I moved him my head closer to his. You need to keep you need to keep working out to keep that shape of yours, you know. Look who's talking. Hey, I'm currently working out, aren't I? <laughs> Is this even a workout? Hmm. <laughs> he stays silent. Then he runs off. <laughs> Nearly there. Yep. His pace grows even slower. You're really shaking now. I'll drop myself here. He panted. Wait, we're nearly there. As soon as we got in, we head to the sofa and drop. Damn! He drops to the floor, though. Ha! You boys had fun! You ask him. He looks down. Where have you been, mister? I was working out! Really? It's true. He's been running around and doing pull-ups on the playground. I see. Well, you two go change. You both smell like armpits. Huh. But I thought you like. Uh, but I thought you like it, Musty Low. Okay. Well, might as well go wash up a bit at least a little bit. Hmm. Washing your fur with cold water is always refreshing, don't you think so? Ugh. Sorry, guys. Hmm. I wonder if I still have spare clothes that aren't too tight. Philio stood on the balcony, his fur swaying along the wind looking like a clump of cotton. I rummaged through my drawer. Man, the only shirt I have left that fits me is this pink shirt. I don't like pink. I put the shirt on. It's a snug fit. Very comfy, though. He liked the color pink. Hmm? He almost always wore a pink beanie. Sometimes he wore his favorite pink shirt. Which is what you're wearing now. After turning back to the drawer, I was actually searching through his clothes, not mine. Let me take it off. It's fine, it's fine. I don't mind. Well, I think it's a cute color. Do I look good? Yep, you're looking good for the job. Gee, that. Hey! Just kidding, you look cute in that. Huh. I mean, I mean good! You look cute in a good way. I mean, you look good in that it makes you cute. You're acting kind of creepy. You're acting creepy! <laughs> I held in my laughter. He slumps onto the railings. Hmm. I never took him as someone who likes the color pink. I smiled. It's nice. Hmm? I take my brush for the I take my brush from the dresser. A gift Leo gave me on my first Christmas here with them. He decided on buying me one ever since he ever since he saw me stealing his brush from his room and accidentally broke it. Hmm, my dearest comb. I can't imagine my life without you. You always work wonders. Mmm. I shudder to the soft bristles that brushed on my fur. The bed suddenly waves, making me jump and fall on my back. Filio lied flat, his gaze fixed on the ceiling. Lewd? Hmm? He stared. What? Nothing. Weirdo. As if you're not weird, too, wearing that. I look at my pink shirt. I guess. <laughs> Silly boys. How do you always smile? Like this. No, silly. He gently hits me with a pillow. You're so dense, you know that? Well, if you weren't so cryptic, then maybe I'd understand. Ugh. <sighs> he faces away from me. Is something wrong? Not sure. I just don't feel quite right. Something bothering you? Yeah, kinda. It's a lot to take in. Is that why you were working out a lot? Probably. That and I'm getting fat, too. You don't say. I slapped his stomach. 
Yeah, my muscles are covered in fat now. That's why I look a bit too big. But Lois said my father looked big too. Bigger than him, he said. Maybe that's where I got my size from. Is he an elephant or something? Heh, <laughs> no. Your, word, your washboard abs feel super soft. My hands travel along the lines of his muscles. He watches me. I did lots of working. I did lots of working out to get where I am now. Did it pay off? I don't know. You tell me. I inched my way up to his peck. I cup them with a hand, and he doesn't seem to mind. Squishy. Jealous. He pokes mine. Oh. Surprised. Maybe. After lightly feeling his chest a bit, he somehow seems flustered all of a sudden. I'm gonna pause it right there because I love to leave you guys on a juicy, on a juicy cliffhanger. Hey, it's how I get you guys to keep coming back, you know? I like making videos. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!